Hello YouTube, let's continue with the Emkuchan. The plan for this episode is to come up with something so that I can mount the Aces servo that will run the spindle using this one here and this one here that uh, are for the original motor that is much bigger. It's almost the size of uh, the machine bed. And I'm not really sure about how the design will be, but uh, I thought that I will start off with uh, making a square motor mount and then I will go from there. So the plan is to drill the whole pattern out with uh, my little mini mill. And after that I will put it in the router and try to machine these pockets out. So. Let's see how it will go. Right, so let's try the whole pattern function out. I already showed it in another video, but I think it's kind of nice. So one has to calculate, calculate the radius. Let's see. And I did that manually. And then it's just to set the angle where you need the holes to be and the number of holes. And then it will distribute them out evenly. So we are now zeroed and now mount a little roughening end mill. And I have no idea how this will work out. If you are new to my channel, I'm about to upgrade this table here and add this one. 25 millimeter, almost an inch thick solid aluminium. So that will hopefully get rid of the vibrations here. So while the spindle is warming up, let's take a look at the toolpath infusion. So I'm using 3D adaptive and the plan is to, to ramp down here in the middle down to negative uh, 6 millimeters, and then rough away a lot of material here. It took about seven, 18 minutes, so that was pretty okay, I think. Oh.
it gets like that. small jump in the video here we have it my father stepped by and I talked some to him so I didn't record when I drilled the holes up here but uh, they lined up perfectly so the distance from the belt to the machine bed is about an inch all right so I now remove the pulley and the motor and I'm about to make some kind of uh, steel pieces here so that uh, the measurements will be correct but uh, I didn't record when I removed the pulley and I would like to show you how it's done in case you haven't seen it before I think this is very cool and so let's first mount this one let's see So this one is now locked very hard into the drive shaft here and this is the cool thing when one is about to remove it. And this might be good to know. So first remove the screws. And after that insert the screw in, in this hole here and this one is very stuck as it is now but with help of this one it will break loose like that so I I think that was very cool and I learned about this watching a YouTube video from some kind of American company that sells taper lock bushings and I need to come up with sorry about that noise I need to come up with something so that this one can can move here as well so I think I will start off with that and then I will just make a rigid connection uh, from down here somewhere to this one so this one will be a bit tricky but I think I, I think I have a plan for it so let's see how that goes then we're punched here and the plan is that I will put some kind of uh, rod here so it will have to be some bore drilling and boring and So I'm not, now done with the boring and the plan is to do some turning almost to get this one down to 20 millimeters. I will try and use the boring bar for that, for the boring head. And then I will have to drill and make some threads here and from the side also. So this will give, be good practice for me. So I will cut this one off using this one but 
would like to show you that I bought some stuff here, some wall bearings as well to make a small little band so that will be a fun project. Okay, so now it's starting to to look like something, but uh, it would have been perfect to have my welder, but unfortunately I sold it. But I think I have to put a small screw here and here so it doesn't twist. Although I don't think it will twist since these ones are holding pretty steady. But you never know with vibration. The servo is now mounted and it feels very good. Super nice that I didn't have to drill any holes into the machine bed. And both pulleys seem to be well aligned. And I gotta put a nut more here so that I can lock lock one nut against the other one so it won't vibrate loose. And I also put a, a small screw here into to this one so that there will be one screw from each direction and I plan to put one down here as well but from, from the underside but I won't include that in the video. But yeah, 
I would like to thank you for for helping me reach 5,000 subscribers. I'm super grateful about that. I've been buying a lot of Sandvik tools lately, and they were very expensive. But uh, now when I got 1,000 subscribers, I can uh, monetize some videos, perhaps, and maybe get like 30 bucks a month from YouTube, and that will be enough for for buying a second hand sandwich till each month so that will be b12 in a year so super grateful for that this is uh, even though this is uh, so called cheap stuff it's uh, very expensive anyways so yeah Huge thank you and uh, next video I will wire everything up and hopefully I can do some turning soon. Take care and uh, see you soon. And also please press thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed I would, I would appreciate if you did. Thank you, see you.